Welcome to the amazing world of Africa. Prepare to be shocked and amazed as we take you on a journey of discovery to uncover some of the most bizarre, outrageous. That's one of the things that's very special about this volcano. It has an active lava lake. And downright shocking things ever found on the continent. Sit back, relax, and get ready for a wild ride as we explore the weird and jaw-dropping wonders of this mind-blowing destination. From mysterious gems that are older than the sun to lakes that will literally turn you into a stone statue. These are the 20 shocking things recently discovered in Africa, part two. <laughs> Namibian Fairy Circles For decades, scientists have been trying to solve the mystery of the fairy circles in the Namib Desert of southwest Africa. These circles, ranging from 10 feet to 65 feet in diameter, span hundreds of miles across the desert and have sparked local myths that they are footprints of ancient gods. Some even say that these barren circles are the domain of desert fairies. Experts, however, have come up with more logical explanations, such as termites clearing away plant life to build their nests under the soil, or vegetation competing for scarce water and growing deep roots to extract moisture from the soil. Well, we've got to say, we kind of prefer the paranormal theories. Yes, the world always needs a bit more mystery, as far as we're concerned. While the fairy circles may not have been created by fairies, they still look pretty peculiar. What scientists found in Africa has left people speechless. This creature was discovered deep in the heart of Africa. Images of the terrifying beast have been circulating online, but nobody can be sure what exactly it is. It resembles a canine, but its eyes and ears seem humanoid, and it lacks any kind of fur. It's not like any animal we've ever seen before. Locals have whispered stories of an alien race that came to Earth centuries ago and kept freakish creatures as pets. However, some online commentators are saying this photograph is proof of nothing more than an elaborate hoax. But what do you guys think? You could use the hashtag open discussion in the comments below to let us know your own theories. We can't wait to hear them and shed some light on this haunting image. The Hypatia Stone Next up, it's a stone that has scientists perplexed. This meteorite is really unique. Researchers have named it Hypatia in honor of Hypatia of Alexandria, the ancient Greek female scientist. And experts assume that the mysterious meteorite dates back to long before the sun was born. Yes, there's a very good chance that the enigmatic Hypatia stone is even older than the sun. Our minds are officially blown. The chunk of meteor was discovered in the Libyan desert glass field in Egypt nearly 20 years ago. The rock contains minerals, iron, aluminum, nickel, lead, silver, micro diamonds, and other elements, which are rather typical for an ordinary meteorite. Now, while this fairly ordinary looking stone could have gathered dust on a shelf in a private collection, luckily it fell into the hands of experts who began to analyze it. In 2015, researchers analyzed the Hypatia stone and found a lack of silicate minerals, setting it apart from material found in the solar system. In 2018, experts concluded that mineral compounds in the stone hadn't been known to occur on Earth. Elsewhere in the solar system or in known meteorites or comets, the Hypatia stone has become the subject of much speculation, as researchers debate both its origin and how it came to form. All we know is that this ancient stone is definitely extraterrestrial and possibly even alien. This has got to be one of Africa's most astonishing discoveries. The Sky Stone In 1990, a strange type of blue stone was found in Sierra Leone, West Africa by geologist and archaeologist Angelo Pitoni, named the Sky Stone. The enigmatic stone was sent to research laboratories worldwide from the University of Geneva, Rome, Utrecht, Tokyo, to Friedberg in Germany. The Italian geologist believed that this was an extraordinary object, and he wasn't wrong. This strange crystal found in Sierra Leone diamond fields resembles a pure turquoise similar to some found on the pectorals of Egyptian priests. Analyses performed on the sky stone revealed that it is different from any other gemstone known to man. Its composition was found to be 77% oxygen, along with traces of carbon, silicon, calcium, and sodium. And the mystery only gets deeper. Found in soil layers dating back at least to 12,000 BC, 
Some people believe that the stone may have even been produced by an unknown, highly advanced civilization lost to time. Yep, the Sky Stone is a real-life mystery, and we are no closer to learning the truth behind this mysterious gemstone. What do you guys reckon? You can let us know in the comment section below. The Lava Lake of Erta Ale Erta Ale is a remarkable sight to behold, and it is the most active volcano in Ethiopia. Located in the Danakil Depression, it is a fascinating landscape of bubbling lava lakes, steaming fissures, and salt flats. The volcano is situated in a stark desert landscape, and its molten lava lake is one of just six in the whole world. Yes, Erta Ale is truly unique. The lake is constantly in flux, and the surface of the lava can reach temperatures of over 600 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got a feeling that you really don't want to stand too close to the edges of this lake. The heat is immense, and the air is filled with the smell of sulfur, but despite that, the volcano is a popular tourist destination and visitors can even climb to the rim of the crater. As you can imagine, the hike is strenuous, but boy, the view from the top is worth it. The lava lake glows orange and red, and it is mesmerizing to watch. Erta Ale is also a significant cultural site. It is an important spiritual destination for the Afar people, and we can see why. This place is utterly breathtaking. The Lake Natron Yep, this lake is truly petrifying, and we mean literally. Lake Natron in Tanzania is home to a spooky phenomenon that has claimed the lives of countless animals. That's right, this mysterious body of water can actually turn you into stone. This salt lake has such a high alkaline content that it can turn you blind, burn off your skin, and even turn you into a living statue. Yikes. Leave your swimsuit at home. The water here is a shocking 10.5 pH, and photographers who have tried to capture images of this horrifying lake have watched their film melt away before their eyes. To make matters worse, this deadly lake seems to lure in animals, creating an optical illusion that makes the surface look like glass. Lake Natron is one ghastly destination. The unique and awe-inspiring Lake Natron is home to a colony of fabulous flamingos, but also a disturbing natural phenomenon that will creep out even the most brave-hearted. This Tanzanian salt lake literally turns animals to stone. The harsh alkaline water in Lake Natron has a super high pH of 10.5, and the water is so deadly that it can burn the skin and even turn you blind. When photographer Nick Brandt shot these horrifying pictures of the mummified creatures that had fallen into the ghastly lake, he even said that the water stripped the ink right off of his Kodak film boxes. The dense lake can even fool birds into thinking that the water surface is a glass door, and they will fly right through to their tragic demise. The same fate was even met by a helicopter flying over Lake Natron, proving the severe danger that this haunting lake possesses. Eye of Sahara this giant geological formation can't be seen from the ground, and you could be standing right in the middle of the eye of the Sahara and not even know it. Astronauts have been gazing upon this mysterious anomaly for decades, and researchers have been trying to figure out what this enormous crater could be. So, is it the ancient landing site of an alien mothership? Well, to be honest, it could be anything. Humans only discovered this strange place when we started exploring space and no one on Earth knows exactly what it might be. Also known as the Rashad structure, this colossal formation is located in the Sahara Desert of Mauritania and stretches out for at least 25 miles. Experts are baffled by this massive set of rings that appear to have been scorched into the desert. The lack of melted rock completely ruled out any possibility of an asteroid or comet hitting the area. While there are conspiracy theories that claim this could be an alien portal, or possibly even the doorway to Atlantis. Some scientists are claiming that the eye is actually the eroded layers of the Earth's crust, and could be proof that there was once a supercontinent called Pangaea that was torn apart over 100 million years ago. So what do you guys think about this ominous location? Let us know in the comments below. The Bullfrog also known as the giant slippery frog, this abnormally large amphibian is the biggest frog on the planet. We are of course talking about the epic Goliath frog, a creature that lives in the wetlands of Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea. They can grow up to 13 inches long, which is pretty enormous for a frog, and they weigh a hefty 7 pounds. This rare and endangered species will eat spiders, crabs, turtles, and have even been spotted snacking on a snake. 
Yep, the Goliath frog is pretty much fearless. I mean, look at the size of them. Who's gonna mess with this angry amphibian? In one bizarre case, a Goliath frog was actually found with a bat in its stomach after swallowing it down whole. What a freaky frog. Not only do they have an enormous appetite, but they can also jump mega long distances. They can propel themselves at a whopping 10 feet forward and are even strong enough to lift stones half their body weight in order to build a home for their babies. Is there anything this bullfrog can't do? Well, actually there is one thing, unlike other frogs who are known for their distinctive ribbit sound. The Goliath frog doesn't have a vocal sac and therefore can't make any noise whatsoever. Yes, they might be silent, but they are still deadly. Dalal, the hell on earth. With volcanoes with lakes of lava and average temperatures of 34 degrees, Ethiopia's Danakil depression is one of the most unforgiving environments on the planet. Not much survives here. In the hottest, driest, and lowest place on Earth, and the Danakil depression only receives about 200 millimeters of rainfall each year. Combined with the fact that it's 410 feet below sea level, and you are looking at a seriously scorching desert environment. Although this may seem like a literal hell on earth, people actually make a living here. And the Afar people are still traveling to the area on camels in order to collect valuable salt. Paleontologists even call this place the Cradle of Humanity, as this is the spot where they found the iconic Lucy fossil believed to be the oldest ever ancient human. In the nearby ghost town of Dalal, scientists have recorded an average annual temperature of 35 degrees, earning it the title of the highest average temperature for inhabited locations. We're just not sure how many people live in this deserted mining town. We're gonna guess not many. The Leidenberg Heads are you ready for a mystery that begins in Africa? The story of the Leidenberg Heads begins in 1957. This was the year when fragments of the heads were first seen. This discovery was not made by archaeologists, but by a 10-year-old boy, Ludwig von Benzing, who was playing on his father's farm near Leidenberg. It was only five years later that von Benzing developed an interest in archaeology and revisited the site where he first saw the terracotta fragments. Between 1962 and 1966, Von Benzing's frequent visits to the Sterkspruit Valley resulted in the collection of pieces of the Leidenberg heads. The mysterious and enigmatic Leidenberg heads are some of the most interesting and oldest Iron Age artifacts ever discovered in southern Africa. These 2,000-year-old artifacts have baffled scholars and scientists, providing tantalizing clues to the ancient history of the region. The Leidenberg heads are made of iron and are believed to be from the Iron Age, which is estimated to have begun around 500 BC. The heads are unique in that they are the earliest known examples of Southern Africa's Iron Age art. They consist of a variety of shapes including circles, squares, and rectangles, and are decorated with intricate patterns and geometrical designs. The origin of the heads is still largely a mystery, and there are numerous theories as to who made them. Some believe that they were created by an unknown Iron Age culture, while others suggest that they were created by an early Bantu-speaking population. Wherever and whenever they were made, these heads are seriously creepy. Imagine finding these in your backyard. The Poisonous Rat Rats are often seen as a nuisance, but did you know that some species of rats actually coat themselves in poison? It's true. The African Crested Rat, or Lafiomis in Housie, has been observed to rub wild poisonous plants all over its fur to protect itself from predators. But don't let their odd behavior fool you, these rats are known for being surprisingly cuddly. That's right, these rodents may look intimidating, but they have a surprisingly gentle side. In fact, they have even been observed to show affection to humans. For example, when a researcher at Oxford University held one of these rats in her hand, the rat immediately started licking her finger. It was as if the rat had recognized the researcher as a friend. But the rat's sweet behavior isn't limited to humans. The African crested rat has also been known to form close bonds with other animals. For example, it has been observed to groom other rats, even those of different species. The African crested rat's gentle nature may be surprising to some, but it's actually not that uncommon among rodents. Rats are social creatures, and they often form close bonds with each other. 
so it's no surprise that these rats can show affection to humans and other animals. So the next time you see a rat, don't be too quick to judge. These little rodents may be more cuddly than you think. Who knows? You may end up bonding with one of these poison-coated rodents in no time. Sociable Weaver We bet you've never seen nests quite like this before. The sociable weaver, also known as the Philetarius socius, is an amazing bird native to the dry open grasslands and woodlands of southern Africa. Sociable weavers are highly social and are known for their intricate and elaborate nests. These birds build large communal nests which can be up to 10 feet high and contain hundreds of individual chambers, weighing hundreds of pounds. The nests are made from dry grass and are often constructed in the forks of trees or on telephone poles. Some families of birds have been known to use the nest for over a hundred years. These birds who have developed a complex cooperative breeding system are truly remarkable. The sociable weaver is a small bird measuring only 5 to 6 inches long, with a wingspan of 8 to 9 inches. They have a unique coloration with a bright yellow head, gray back, and white chest. The sociable weaver is a cooperative breeder, meaning that the entire colony of birds will help to raise the chicks. The female sociable weaver will lay anywhere from two to six eggs in her own chamber of the nest. Once the eggs are laid, the other birds in the colony will help to incubate the eggs and feed the chicks. Okay, we're starting to see why this bird is called sociable. What a fascinating bird. Underground churches in Africa. The small town of Lalibela in Ethiopia is home to an incredible feat of engineering and craftsmanship. This mysterious location has an astounding 11 monolithic churches carved directly out of the bedrock. Built in the 12th century, the churches have stood for more than 800 years and still look as impressive today as they did when they were built. The churches were commissioned by King Lalibela, a devout Christian who wanted to create a new Jerusalem in Ethiopia. He instructed his builders to carve the churches from single blocks of stone, and the result is a collection of structures that are truly awe-inspiring. The churches were not only intricately carved with detailed sculptures, but also fully functional places of worship. Inside each church are chapels, passages, and tombs, as well as a baptistry, which is one of the oldest in the world. The churches are still in use today, and visitors can take part in religious ceremonies such as mass and holy baptisms. The churches are also a popular tourist attraction and draw in a significant number of visitors each year. Despite their age, the churches remain in remarkable condition and are a testament to the skill of the builders who created them. Pretty spectacular, right? Dead Valet Dead Valais is an otherworldly landscape that's been compared to another planet. Located in Namibia's Namib Naukluft National Park, this iconic destination is made up of ancient sun-baked clay and sand dunes and is home to 900-year-old dead camel thorn trees that stand petrified and untouched in the scorching heat. It's easy to understand why this surreal landscape has been compared to a lunar landscape. The soft, milky white sand and the stark contrast of the dark, charcoal-like trees create a stunning visual effect that is truly something to behold. Indeed, the desert climate of Dead Vle is so dry and hot that the dead trees have been preserved for centuries, and the ground beneath them is not able to sustain any type of vegetation. This makes it an absolute dead zone, yet the eerie beauty of the area is what draws people from all over the world to visit. Photographers, filmmakers, and curious travelers alike come to marvel at the remarkable scenery. But the beauty of the Dead Vle isn't just limited to the petrified trees. The surrounding dunes of Dead Vle are some of the highest in the world reaching heights of around 300 meters. The dunes are constantly shifting and moving due to the strong winds that blow through the area, making it a lot like an ever-changing canvas of color and texture. It's no wonder that this spectacular site has become a favorite among photographers and filmmakers. So, if you're looking for an unforgettable experience, then Dead Vle is the place to go. Just make sure to pack plenty of sunscreen. The sun's rays can be particularly intense in this part of the world. And when you do make it to Dead Vle, don't forget to take a moment to marvel at the ethereal beauty of this unique landscape. After all, there's no place quite like it on Earth. The Giant Crack The East African Great Rift Valley is one of the most stunning and jaw-dropping geological formations in the world. 
It is a 6,000 kilometer long crank in the Earth's crust that stretches from the Red Sea to Mozambique. This massive rift valley is not just a beautiful landscape, it's also home to some of the world's oldest hominin remains, and serves as an important habitat for many species of animals. Since it was formed millions of years ago, the Rift Valley has provided a unique environment for the evolution of humans, plants, and animals. The Rift Valley formed when the Earth's crust split apart due to the movement of tectonic plates. As the Earth's plates moved apart, magma from the Earth's mantle rises up and cools, forming new land. This process created several distinctive features including deep valleys, towering volcanoes, and dramatic escarpments. Scientists believe that the East African Great Rift Valley was formed approximately 25 million years ago, making it one of the oldest rifts in the world. The Rift Valley is home to a variety of unique species of plants and animals, many of which are threatened or endangered. It is believed to be the birthplace of Homo sapiens and some of the oldest hominid remains dating back 2.5 million years, which have all been found in the valley. Eventually, the Somali plate may completely separate from the Nubian plate and form a separate landmass comparable to Madagascar or New Zealand. Fortunately for those who live there, the separation isn't expected to happen for another 50 million years. What a cop! The Democratic Republic of Congo has recently recruited robots as traffic police in the city of Kinshasa to help reduce congestion and accidents in the city. Yes, robots. It's the real-life Robocop. The robots, which are solar-powered and measure 3.2 meters tall, are equipped with two cameras and a microphone to monitor traffic. They can detect violations such as illegal parking, driving without a license, and speeding. When the robot detects a violation, it will flash its lights, emit a sound, and display a message to the driver. Amazingly, these robots have already been successful in reducing traffic congestion and accidents in Kinshasa. According to the Congolese authorities, the robots have been able to reduce traffic accidents by 25% and the amount of time spent in traffic jams by 10%. The robots have also been successful in raising awareness about traffic safety, as drivers now know that they can be monitored and fined for violations. But what do drivers think about being told what they can and can't do by a robocop? Well, as it turns out, the robots have been given a warm welcome to Kinshasa, and their success has sparked interest in other countries in the region. Several countries, including Cameroon and South Africa, are now looking into installing robots as traffic police. It looks like robocops could become a common sight in cities around the world in the near future. Ubang Village Ubang is a small village located in the northwestern part of Nigeria. It's home to a unique and fascinating culture, where men and women speak different languages. Interestingly, both men and women are able to understand each other perfectly in Obang. As both boys and girls grow up around their parents and get to learn both languages, but by the age of 10, boys are expected to speak in the male tongue. There is a stage the male will reach and he discovers he is not using his rightful language, Chief Oliver Ebong said. It's not exactly clear what proportion of the words in the men's and women's languages are different, but there are enough examples to make sentences sound different when spoken by the opposite sex. For example, for clothing, men use the word niki, while women say ariga. Kichi means tree for men, while women say owang. No one really knows how or why the dual language tradition of Ubang began, but most locals prefer the religious theory according to which God created Adam and Eve as Ubang people and gave them two different languages. Today, as English words continue to enter the lexicon of young people in Nigeria, Ubang's two languages are in danger of being lost forever. Yam in female language is called Iri. Yam in man language is called Kitong. Neither the male nor female language is written down, so they both rely on young people passing them down to the next generation. The Pink Lake If we had to guess where Barbie takes her summer vacation, we'd have to guess right here. The bright pink water of Lake Retba in Senegal is one of nature's most colorful spectacles. Located northeast from the capital city of Dakar, this strange yet stunning lake is mostly inhabited by salt farmers, who harvest the valuable mineral from the spectacular shores of Lake Retba. In fact, the salt levels can reach up to 40% in this salty lake, turning the water from a cotton candy pink to a deep crimson red, also known as Lac Rose. This bubblegum pink lake is visited by thousands of tourists every year. 
providing a boost of tourism to the area. The photos of this attractive lake speak for itself. It's a beauty. So why is Senegal's most famous lake so pretty in pink? Well, it's all down to the microorganism Dunaliella salina that feeds off of the salt and flourishes in the baking sun. Yep, this lake is full of bacteria, but that doesn't make it any less gorgeous. Adam's Calendar Adam's Calendar is believed to be the world's oldest man-made structure, estimated to be around 75,000 years old. It is located in Mpumalanga, South Africa, and is made up of an arrangement of megalithic stones that form an elliptical shape. The calendar is thought to be the remnants of an ancient African civilization, and is often referred to as the African Stonehenge. Its purpose has been a mystery for centuries, but some believe it was used for astronomical observations and to mark the changing of seasons. The calendar is composed of a large outer circle of standing stones, an inner circle of smaller standing stones, and a smaller circle at the center. The largest stone, which is believed to be the oldest, is referred to as the Atom Stone. It is thought to represent the first man, and has been found to resemble the constellation of Orion. Other stones in this calendar have been found to align with the summer and winter solstices, suggesting that the calendar could have been used to mark the changing of the seasons. Adam's calendar has attracted attention from around the world, with many researchers and scientists coming to investigate its mysterious origins. While the exact age and purpose of the calendar remain a mystery, it continues to fascinate and intrigue people across the globe. Giant Squid The deep ocean is an alien world for most of us, but recently the inhabitants of the mysterious deep have been visiting us on land. On June 10, 2021, a giant squid was found washed up on a beach in Cape Town, South Africa. The squid was an adult female, measuring over 5 meters in length. This is not the first giant squid to be found washed up on a beach. Over the past few years, there have been several sightings of these mysterious sea creatures on beaches around the world. Giant squids are the largest invertebrates on Earth and can grow to be over 10 meters long. They are found in the deep ocean, living at depths of up to 1,000 meters, and have a diet consisting mainly of fish and other squids. These fascinating animals have been the subject of myths and legends for centuries, and were once thought to be mythical sea monsters. We don't know about you, but they sure look like monsters to us. Although this particular giant squid is now dead, its discovery is an exciting reminder of the wonders that the deep ocean holds and also a sinister reminder that giant beasts can show up unannounced at any time. Sud Wetlands The Sud Wetlands, located in South Sudan, is an incredible and magical place. Spanning an area of 30,000 square kilometers, which can extend out to over 130,000 during the rainy season, the size of England, it is formed by the White Nile River and it is one of the most amazing landscapes in the world. Its vastness and impenetrability are highlighted by the fact that the ancient Egyptians and Roman soldiers were unable to cross it. Papyrus, hyacinths, and large grasses grow in the swampy water, with killer crocs and huge hippopotamus lurking amongst the vegetation. Sometimes these plants drift away and form their own little islands dotted throughout the sud, giving it its name. Sud, being derived from the Arabic word for our barrier of obstruction. The Nilotic Nuer people live in this landscape, residing in traditional round houses on the more solid parts of the swamp. Truly incredible. Africa is a giant continent, so it's only natural that there would be a whole heap of awesome discoveries. But which one is your personal favorite? And do you know any other astonishing African facts? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.